so what we are going to do here today is we are going to do a season review of Manchester United so far. Manchester United currently lie twelfth in the table, having scored eight goals and conceded eight, won two, drawn one, and lost three. Even in the Champions League, they currently have one with one win and one draw, respectively. This is our goalkeeper David De Gea, who's recent, who signed last to last season from Atletico Madrid. He's aged 21 and has had one of his best seasons so far. Yet his clean sheets do not reflect what he has done till date. Till now, he's had only one clean sheet throughout the season, but he has done very well in stopping some magnificent shots from the opposition. His main fault lies in his aerial ability to stop the ball from corners. Vidic, probably our best centre match at the moment, has had a drop in form this season mainly due to the injuries he had to face last season. He has still been rock solid at the back, not letting his uh, winning every header and not letting tacklers get through. Uh, he's probably be feeling a bit out of place because of lack the lack of form faced by Rio Ferdinand. Rafael da Silva, our Brazilian import from the Brasilia Rero, has played, has improved, his form has improved very well over the past few seasons, but his defensive capabilities are to be questioned. He plays very well down the flanks and has done well during the Champions League, missing the first two Premier League games as well. But his defensive form is yet to be questioned. Patrice Sevra, our current left back, has been playing almost every game like, like every other season. But his age and his speed has been questioned over the past few games. Due to his age, he is being outrun by several defenders as we saw against in the game against Shakhtar where Tyson did him for pace almost in every uh, run he made. Rio Ferdinand, our ex-captain and ex-England captain, has seen one of his worst seasons so far. He has been done for pace, technical ability, skill and technique for almost every game so far. His question in the his place in the team is to be questioned because he's still got centre backs like Johnny Evans who has improved strategically over the past few seasons. Michael Carrick, our central defensive midfielder, also has seen a drop in form. His ability to give 40-yard long balls has be, has gone for a toss and all he does is square passes right now. It's probably because how David Moyes plays him in the setup. He plays much more of a defensive role now than he did last season. Our newest import, Maruan Fellaini, who recently signed in the transfer window from Everton FC, has seen a direct role swap from what he was doing at uh, his older club. He tries to win most of the headers which are being put forward by David De Gea and tries to knock them down for someone like a Rooney, a Van Persie or a Welbeck. To what extent he is successful is yet to be seen as yeah, only a few games have been played in the season. Shinji Kagawa, a Japanese import from the Champions League, last year's Champions League finalist Borussia Dortmund, has barely seen any game time. He got one and a half games from Moyes in the past six weeks, and it is one of the biggest question marks over Moyes' managerial skills that why is he not playing Shinji Kagawa? Probably by far one of the best things to happen to United this season is the uh, for coming to four of young the young Belgium Adam Januzas who may help make sure that United wins their first trophy of the season, that is the Community Shield. Whether United can win anything this season, it is very important to see how this player develops over time. From the youngest to the oldest player in the team, Ryan Giggs, who is going to touch 40 this season, made sure that he scored another goal, making him the only player to score in every Premier League season so far. Giggs has seen more starts than he has seen in his past three seasons because of the faith that Moyes put his, puts in him. But the question over his age and the and his stamina always lures over him. It's time for our utility player Phil Jones, who probably plays almost every position in defence and midfield. This has probably been the catalyst to the downfall of his career. He originally started as a centre back or a right back, but due to Ferguson's ability to chop, mix and change players, he made sure that Jones played every position. For in my opinion, he has become a jack of all trades and a master of none. So it's yet to see what he can do and what his speciality is. One of our young English prospects, Danny Welbeck, who has received a lot of credentials by English manager Roy Hodgson for his style of play, has bulldozed his way into the main team ahead of Chicharito and at times even Wayne Rooney. Danny Welbeck's game time has been questioned by several critics over time. 
but he continues to prove from his goal scoring abilities that he should be a mainstay in the team his off the ball movement also should also be questioned over time and his big match capabilities are one of the biggest problems that he has in his game our best player of the season so far van the man robin van persie has seen him becoming the top scorer yet again for united this season so far in all forms of the game but the in, the problem here lies is that he has not been able to recreate the form that he had faced last season this could also be questioned due to the lack of creativity in the united midfield and the lack of uh, coverage that he gets from the players around him one of the most controversial players so far wayne rooney who was linked with the move to madrid over the summer has managed to stay at united under the under the coaching of david moyes he has also been the best set piece taker in the league so far thus adhering to the fact that robin van persie and wayne rooney when playing together could be the most deadly attack possible the problem here lies in the midfield and the lack of creativity that supplies these two how long can wayne rooney and van robin van persie continue carrying the team over the season is yet to be seen